Hey guys, it's Shanna with Marietta Rose Garden, and today we're going to talk about some peony care. I do have a little bit of a fungus problem going on with um, some of my peony leaves, so and maybe the irises too. So today we're going to talk about that and how we can go about taking care of that and getting this all cleared out so that we don't lose any of these plants and they come back next year and um, and have lots of blooms. So let's get started. So as you can see, the peonies and the irises have some spots um, that are indicative with the fungal problem, um, possibly Botrytis blight, which is a common fungus that gets on to peonies. So um, what we need to do is cut the parts that are affected um, off so that it doesn't continue to go down to the root of the plant. Now there are three things, all of which possibly I'm guilty of, that could have caused this. <clears throat> First of all, it's best not to mulch your peony bed and although I didn't mulch this bed per se, I did have other things in here. Um, see how there's spots. I had other things in here last year that I did mulch and then um, I moved and, and kind of cleared it out and made a peony bed, but uh, maybe there was enough mulch left to cause a problem to keep the ground a little bit too damp. Also, I did introduce some new plants this year from um, my niece that had given me some, some plants and it could be that the fungus came from her house. And the last thing is I transplanted some um, daisies around the edges and because that was a new transplant I was watering that and so it could just be that I, I watered my peonies you know and got them a little bit too wet um, so there's different options how we're going to clear this is we ended up having to cut all of this back there was actually quite a bit of grass growing underneath all of my peonies and irises that I guess I didn't realize was there that can also cause problems you don't want there to be um, a bunch of, of grass and different things growing in around it and so this is what we're left with it looks pretty pretty bare and pretty sad since we had all of this completely full and lush but the good news is we've cut all the dead away and we've taken it and bagged it you do not want to mulch um, anything that had a fungus on it so we're going to throw that away and Next year, everything should come up. Um, I will spray in the spring just to kind of spray the new growth and um, the dirt to try to make sure we get um, any mold spores or fungus spores that were left over. We get those killed before the new growing season. So that should take care of it. Thank you so much for watching and we will talk to you tomorrow.